What is the worst piano concerto? Hello everyone, it's Rackman John here. Um, as we near the 2,000 subscriber mark, I've realised that my last video has done very well. So, to take myself down a notch, I've uh, decided to make this video, and you'll see why in a second. Now, as the executive editor at ClassicsToday.com Dave Hurwitz, esteemed and wonderful <coughs> wonderfully opinionated virtuoso of online classical music criticism would weigh in with his elder statesman opinion it's probably either concertos by riga fitzner so the first movement is called pomphaft i'm not kidding pomphaft get it no it's 17 minutes of 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 aimless aimless noodling he just fills the old bottle with what he considered to be a more advanced version of something old and the result was like was like new coke or his ultimate pick this dude that. it begins with a kind of oriental camel procession i'm not kidding after which the piano enters the sort of faux Mozart, complete with Alberti bass and a cadential trill. And that alternates with the camel procession. So here, here's the piano's entrance, or the second piano entrance. But dear Dave Hurwitz, you're wrong, and you should feel bad. Because in fact, the worst piano concerto I've ever heard was written by, well, it was written by me. So let's dive into the Concerto for Piano and Strings. Uh, it was supposed to be my Opus 1, um, but 15-year-old me decided he wanted to be a serious musician and not a laughingstock. I still haven't gotten there. But please think back uh, to all the embarrassing things that you did, or in the case of younger viewers, will do when you're 14. This is by far my worst. Please enjoy. Enjoy. 